Why would our children ever be the things that we are not? The world around us cannot be changed with a simple thought. It's your duty to be a soldier or to die if you haven't fought. Now if you're like me, you're sick of this lie that people have bought. But the people who first sold it to us, the ones who we should blame. Blame your enemy or blame your sister, either way it's the same. Because times now are changing, our whole world can be seen rearranging. To fit the fragile pieces that they say can stop me from raging. But I am still writing on this page, and nothing is getting any better. Right now I'm just looking for something to make me feel light as a feather. Some form of escape from this modern world that is being plagued. Drugs, rape, wars, and everything that can be seen that isn't staged. People say that they'll listen to the facts and then close their eyes all the same. But when you close them, you are blind. And then your mind can be tamed. This is a world where civil rights are seen as less important than one's religion. Where being bullied for what you think is fine. But you don't see them as your brethren. You don't see them as your friend when really they are your very own family. Conversations with your peers saying doing this will really bring out the man in me. So you push him to the floor and he is crying while you shout. But was this the path of your Jesus Christ? If so, then count me out. 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 Your savior stood for compassion, accepting others for how they were. Your God created you to love everyone, gay, straight, him, or her. Everyone I speak with nowadays cites scripture, but they won't discuss. Even the devil can cite scripture if he must for his own purpose. Your savior stood for compassion, accepting others for how they were. Your God created you to love everyone, gay, straight, him, or her. But don't get started thinking that I'm against the idea of a God above. I'm more against the idea of caring for some and for others no love. I'm more against the idea where you will hate because of how I look, how I talk, or how I act, how I think, or what I believe in your sacred book. Maybe I can be judgmental, and maybe in your eyes I show signs of being insane. But I promise you now I'm not the only one who gets wet when you see the sky rain. So maybe we can put aside the fact that you and I have separate ideas. But I will not sit back and watch you do this to any of my peers. So if you cannot change the way you think, or at least the way you act, I don't believe you will have a part in my life. That statement is a fact. Equality is a right. Everyone else deserves it just as much as you. Freedom is a basic need, and love is something we all should do. If someone doesn't see that, then that someone doesn't see. If someone doesn't need that, then that someone doesn't need. Now these are just some words on paper that may describe how you feel. They couldn't change your life, as done by your very own free will. But the world is changing rapidly and it's time you catch up to it. It's not my job to make you start, but it is to help you realize this. Think of those people who you call friends, whom you help whenever they need. Thinking they ask out of pure helplessness and not asking with only greed. So you agree to do what they need to do until everything is done. And once you give them what they need, those same people will leave you with none. None. None.